Hi, and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Tinker. Today, we are going to configure LG TV OS component. We'll start in 10 seconds. We are going to configure LG WebOS Smart TV component. What this component does, it provides you ability to control your LG Smart TV from Home Assistant, also to get notifications about channels inside Home Assistant, but it can be used also as a notification platform, so Home Assistant can send notifications to your TV. For example, I use it to warn my kids when they watch a Nickelodeon or Disney Channel for too long. Also, at midnight, if I'm still awake, and most of the days I am, it gives me a notification that it's uh, bedtime. So, first thing what you have to do, you have to ensure that your TV is configured to allow external apps or so-called LG connected apps. For this, let's switch to my TV. In order for Home Assistant to connect with the LG TV OS, we have to enable uh, network access. So, we should go to settings, advanced, and in the network section, you have option called LG Connected Apps. Click on it and make sure that the button is turned on. Now that we have configured TV or prepared TV to pair with Home Assistant, what we have to do is we have to configure it in our system. There are a couple of steps what we have to do. So for the first step, we will just create basic configuration. Let's go to configurator. And now let's change to our configuration folder. Configuration YAML file. And at the bottom of the file, let's add following string. So media player. and platform equals web OS TV. Next thing what we should add is a host or IP address of our TV. So it's host equals 192.168.1.124. We can give it a name, LG TV and let's specify that we want to save our configuration in file name called webos tv conf so file name web tv.conf and we can specify timeout this is the time needed for the uh, request to be uh, cancelled for example how many seconds of trying to cancel the, the action we were doing. So it's timeout equals five seconds. Let's save this. Let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration, and let's restart. And our server is back online. Let's check notifications. Let's press configure. And let's start pairing requests. Next step we will have to do on our TV too. You should receive on your TV requests to pair. And just select yes and press OK. And that's it. You can go back to your PC. And the moment you press the button, configuration of the LG WebOS Smart TV is done. Okay, at this point we now have um, LG TV configured, but there are other customization options. One of them is uh, you can define sources. 
So I will copy here in configuration what I have already on my main configuration. Let's go to configurator. Let's find Media TV platform WebOS TV. And here I will type what I have uh, in my home setup. So first thing I have is a turn on action. And here we will call service. Persistent notification create and data will be message turn on action. This is really uh, same setup as you would do in uh, uh, if you just follow the setup information from the home assistant. Next thing is something that depends on your configuration. For me, this is a list of the options I have on my TV. So sources. I will show you how you can get all the notifications of what is available on your TV. For me, this is following. It's live TV. Smart Share, PS4, and Netflix. Those are really only services I'm using. Let's save this. Let's check what are available sources. To obtain this information, we'll go to Developer Tools. We'll go to States. And let's find Media. And here we have my TV. As you can see, you receive some information about currently running program. Uh, I use this to track what kids are watching. And here is all the options I have defined in my TV. So it's uh, 3D Smart TV, uh, normal audio video 1, 2, uh, camera, component devices, connector, HBO Go, HDMI 3, Store, photo editor, live TV, uh, Netflix notifications, PS4, scheduler, screen share, smart share, streaming box, TV guide, user guide, web browser, YouTube, and this this is the picture from static picture from my video surveillance. So those are the options you have uh, that you can enter and and later on use in your home assistant. Okay. So our TV is currently configured and we can see what's going on on TV, but there are some additional options that we want to use. And this option is, of course, notifications. This is the fun part. Uh, why fun part? Let's just say that my wife got a couple of really strange and weird messages uh, when I was setting up the system <laughs> and it was really fun to push notifications on the screen. So for that, let's go back to Configurator. And let's see if we already have Notify configured or not. Yes, we do. Let's add a new configuration. So it will be Platform. Web. OS TV. Once again, we have to type in our IP address of the TV. And we have to give it a name. So, name will be uh, Living Room TV. And last thing what we have to do is we have to point this integration to correct configuration file. So it's file name. And we have to use the same file name used before. So it's 
webosdvconf. Let's type it here webosdv.conf. And this should be it. So let's save this. Let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration. And let's restart our Home Assistant for notifications to work. And we're back. Let's see what we can do here. So let's go to Overview. Let's go to Media. I currently have a couple of uh, Chromecasts here but let's add something new configure ui and let's here select our tv save of course the picture on the, the icon we are using here is something that is pushed by a tv and yeah it's not very intuitive but it works you can of course play with it and change it uh, you have options to pause a skip video, but that works only if you if you either have attached HDD to your TV or if you have possibility to, of course, control and stop your live TV. As you can see, you can control volume. Yeah, SpongeBob playing. Uh, you can mute it here. You can turn it off. You can select what you want to watch. For example, let's change this to Netflix. And believe me, it did change to Netflix menu. Smart share. And more or less, this is it. Of course, the fun part is to think of what you else can do. For example, you could make a, a automation saying something like let's skip this for example you can say state for the entity and no let's see uh quarter light when it changes to on we want to call notification on living room tv and send message omg light is on and what would happen if you have some kind of state for example door open you could push a notification to your tv that something 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 you can of course put variables here there is also a way how to personalize the icons that show up on the screen so you can have for example exclamation mark stop sign whatever you want and this is it for today's a little bit longer home assistant how to with video thinker i hope you enjoyed this episode uh, i hope that you have lg tv smart tv and that you will use this component i find it quite useful what I find quite strange at this point that I see that my link speed is 11.4 megabits and it should be somewhere around 200 so something's going on with my ISP or network but that's topic for another video thank you once again for watching home assistant how to if you still haven't subscribed please subscribe if you have any kind of a comment or a question please leave it down in the comment section and I will be seeing you in next video. Until then, bye bye and have fun.